Today, I'm gonna to break down five simple changes that you must make to your training, diet, and overall daily habits in order to maximize fat loss, muscle growth, so you can reach your goal physique as fast as possible. Let's get it. Go, go bathroom. All right, number one, you have to regulate your circadian rhythm. So our circadian rhythm is basically like our internal clock. It's the 24 hour rhythm that we operate on. And in 2023, for most of us, I think it's pretty fucked up because of things like our smartphone where we struggle to go to bed at night, we don't sleep that well, our energy levels aren't great throughout the day. And that's gonna completely fuck you in the gym because look, we know that if your sleep's bad for even one week, your testosterone levels drop significantly. That is gonna make it very tough to build muscle or lose fat. And something that's been a game changer for me lately is rather than focusing on, oh my God, how do I sleep better? I need to focus on my sleep. No, I've focused more just on fixing this internal clock. And since then, everything else has fixed itself naturally. I fall asleep faster. I sleep better when I wake up. Doesn't matter what time it is, I'm ready to lock and load. So here are probably the top three things I did to fix this. The number one most powerful thing has definitely been the Andrew Huberman morning combination. So as soon as I wake up, I'm gonna go outside for like a 10, 15 minute walk, and then I'm gonna get the natural sunlight in my eyes. I'm gonna physically look at the sun. If it's too bright, I'm gonna look next to it. If I wake up before it's sunny out at all, I'll just turn all the lights in my apartment on. There was a lot of scientific literature that shows us this creates a powerful hormonal response inside of our body and if you do it you can feel it you're walking and your body just starts to naturally wake up you have more energy throughout the day at the end of the day I'm more ready to fall asleep also. Second, as soon as it gets to like 6, 7 p.m. at night, I'm going to turn off all the overhead lights in my place. I'm not gonna turn them back on because I realize that starts to signal to my body and my subconscious, let's start to wind down the day. And third, when I start to feel like, you know what, bro, I could probably fall asleep right now. I go to fucking sleep. It's too easy to watch one more Netflix episode or do a little bit more work. What I've realized is it's almost like I miss the window to fall asleep, and then after that, I struggle to fall asleep. My brain doesn't turn off. When we ignore that internal clock, we just fuck it up. Oh, bro. Nothing feels so good. It's a backflip in the morning in Sevilla, Spain. You know what they say about Sevilla? They say Sevilla tiene un color. That translates to Sevilla has a color. What kind of means is like Sevilla has this very unique, special beauty to it. That's the ex extended How to Beast translation. Some Gaines Club Greens Plus test to start the day. As always, this is sold out. I know it is coming back in stock the very end of October. So stay tuned. Sold out very quick last time. Number two, timing is everything. So something everyone can agree on is that the intensity of your workouts needs to increase over time to keep making gains. That's progressive overload. That's the only way you signal to your body to keep synthesizing new muscle tissue. And that's why it's crucial to understand for you personally, at what time of day can you bring the most intensity to your workouts? For me, I either like to train fasted first thing in the morning, like I'm about to do right after this, or if it's not that, then I prefer to train a little bit after my first meal, like two or three hours after my first meal, which is gonna be later afternoon. Of course, only you can answer this question for you. Some people prefer morning workouts, others prefer evening workouts. The other crucial thing though to think about is, what's the optimal pre-workout meal timing for you? Because I like to be on an empty stomach. If I was to work out every day, you know, one hour after eating a big meal, my workouts would be shit, my energy levels would be low, I wouldn't bring the intensity to the gym, and I, I wouldn't make gains. Some people like that. I know dudes who like to eat a big meal, they hit the lift. This is one of those small things that's actually a big thing because the quality of work we do in the gym it fucking matters if we just go and it's convenient instead of manipulating the timing and the meal timing some days we might not get as many reps or the quality of the reps might not be as good and then over the next three months or six months, you're ultimately not gonna make as much progress as would have been possible. And speaking of time, and if you take a pre-workout, you wanna take it 20 to 30 minutes before you get to the gym. You don't wanna like take it right as you show up as otherwise the ingredients like the caffeine or if you're taking something that is fucking stacked like Gaines Cup Beast Fuel and has all these you know vasodilators and the nitrosogen in there, they don't actually have the time to take effect. And likewise, you don't wanna take it an hour or two hours before because these things may not be at their full strength. Shut up, bro. That's not my dog. Some lousy ass dog out here. About 
about halfway through today's workout. Today we have a full body pull workout with the strength focus in the Beastly app. But number three is gonna be the mind's muscle connection. And this is one of those things that seems like it might be bro science. The basic idea is that when you're doing an exercise, you connect your mind to the muscle. So you focus exclusively, if it's a bicep curl, on the biceps. At the top, you just think about feeling that contraction, that tension. At the bottom, you feel the stretch. And that's all you think about. Contraction, stretch, contraction. Now it happens that this is not bro science, because there's been studies done on this. One of them by Brad Schoenfield, who's a top bodybuilding researcher. He split a group of people into two groups. One group only focused on their form for an eight week period. One group only focused on the mind muscle connection. And that second group made more strength gains, which means it's reasonable to assume that when you do this, you actually activate more motor units, recruit more muscle fibers, and that's gonna lead to more gains. One thing that's crucial though, this is only to be used on isolation movements where you're focusing on a single muscle group, like a bicep curl I'm doing right now, or this could also be for a tricep extension or a delta raise. You do not want to use this on a squat or any other compound movement where you're recruiting multiple different muscle groups because which one are you going to focus on? You're going to be here thinking about, you know, my, my quads or my glutes or, or my lower back. Your form is going to break down. You might get hurt. So not for squats, not for deadlifts, not for bench press or overhead press or rows, only for the isolation movements. It's when we Workout complete, bro. Quick bonus tip for you that's simple, but a lot of guys mess this up. Throughout the day, you wanna have easy meals that are ready to go without thinking about it, because otherwise, life gets busy, and then you end up eating some shit, or even worse, you end up skipping a meal, then you never hit your macros. And that is why I'm a massive fan of Factor Meals, the sponsor of today's video. Check it out. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. Too busy grinding, but still wanna make sure you're eating well? With Factor, you can skip the trip to the grocery store and skip the chopping, prepping, and cleaning up too, while still getting the flavor and nutritional quality that you need. And for all of us that are working hard in the gym trying to level up our bodies, they also offer protein plus meals that all come stacked with 30 grams or more protein per serving. If you've been struggling to keep up with your diet, it's time to get factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply select your meals and then enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered right to your door. And the best part is they're ready even faster than delivery or takeout. Just two minutes. Today I'm trying out their jalapeno popper burger. Mm-hmm. Factor meals do not miss. So if you're ready to take your meal plan to the next level, you can head to factor75.com and click that first link in description and use code HOWTOBEAST50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Honestly, this is a game changer. You won't regret it. Number four, the breakfast effect. So check it out. Most guys fall into one of two categories. You're either naturally skinnier like myself or you're naturally chubbier, not like myself. And the skinnier guys like me, we tend to have this eating habit where we don't think about food too much throughout the day. Maybe we have a big meal at the end of the day, but we end up not getting that many calories in. And the naturally chubby guys, you guys tend to always be thinking about food. You want your breakfast, you want your lunch. And that's why it's hard for you to restrict your calories and lose weight, right? And that's why breakfast is so fucking crucial. If it's up to me, I'm gonna just have like a protein shake and some toast because I don't wanna weigh myself down. The issue is I need to consume about 3,400 calories to gain weight and then I'm gonna end up getting to dinner only having eaten a thousand calories and I gotta smash 2,500 more calories for the last meal. And then if I do that, it's gonna affect my ability to sleep because I'm gonna be so damn full. Or what happens with a lot of y'all who struggle to lose weight is you get to dinner and you probably already had 2,500 calories and you can only eat 2,500 calories and then you have to eat something because otherwise you're gonna be starving and then you don't lose weight. So breakfast is where you fix yourself. Ready? Today I had that factor meal also with a protein shake and a couple slices of white bread on the side. So I'm already at 1,100 calories, 74 grams of protein, which means I can have a small meal in the middle of the day and then I'm gonna get to dinner. It's gonna be easy to get to my calorie goal. However, if you're trying to lose weight, you need to do what guys like me do naturally and just have some protein shakes throughout the day. Maybe a little toast with avocado or something light, but then you're gonna get to dinner. You're still gonna have another 1,500 calories you can consume so you can still have a nice, big meal and satisfy th that urge to have a big meal. I think all of us need to have one big meal throughout the day. I promise you, bro, if you can just use more self-control at breakfast, which should be easier because at the beginning of the day, we have more willpower. We're not as tired yet. It's going to make your diet start to feel so easy.
Number five, find your movements. So I truly believe every lifter should take the time to master like the foundational compound movements, the barbell squat, the barbell deadlift, the barbell overhead press, the barbell row. I'd also throw dumbbell lunges and Bulgarian split squats into that mix. And these can take months, sometimes even years of repeating them, starting at a low intensity and slowly working up the weight before you've developed the body control, the mobility, the flexibility to execute them with proper form. That being said, the gym is like a journey and those are a very important starting point that you'll keep using throughout. But as you go on this gym journey, you want to learn and find the movements that are best for your body. Because look, all of our bodies are not the same. We have different frames. Some people have wider shoulders, shorter arms. Some people's bicep muscle is inserted deeper versus shorter. So we don't all respond exactly the same to every single exercise. And the idea is you start to invest more times into the exercise variations that work better with your body. So a lot of people like doing the rope attachment with tricep pushdowns, right? For me, I get a much stronger contraction of my tricep when I use one of the, the bars that has like a slight angle on it. That just feels a lot better for my body. Or for example, I stopped bench pressing with a barbell because, well, A, I got a pretty bad neck injury at one point over quarantine, if y'all remember that, and lost a lot of the strength in my tricep. But I also just noticed that I feel better. I feel stronger contraction in my chest. It, the movement just feels better with dumbbells. One very important caveat here, do not use this as an excuse to be a weak little bitch. Like for example, Bulgarian split squats, when I do them, they kind of make me hate myself and want to stop going to the gym. But if I'm being honest with myself, I can tell they're extremely effective. So reluctantly, I, I keep doing them. And this is also a reason I'd highly recommend you get on the Beastly app if you're not using it yet. Because look, not only is it gonna match you with the perfect workout routine based on your experience level and your goals, but it's gonna force you to implement that progressive overload. It's gonna automate all of the science needed to see the fastest results possible. Every workout is gonna serve you the exact number of sets, reps, and weight to do on each exercise to make sure you keep making gains. But also there's this really useful exercise substitution button. So any exercise you're doing, you can click the modify button and quickly choose a suitable replacement which allows you to customize every workout plan to your body you know what works for you and this allows you to make sure those exercises are incorporated into the plan anyway there'll be a link down in description to download the app now and get a free seven day trial to test it out if you don't like it you don't pay but uh people tend to like it and to see some pretty crazy results so check it out so what are we doing for dinner today tapas only tapas here in Sevilla. And the crazy thing is, this restaurant we're at, ready to see that red building behind me there? That is the terrace of the apartments that the homie Dave and I lived together back in like 2015. It's wild to think that was like eight years ago now. I actually filmed some videos up on that exact terrace back before I like officially started consistently uploading videos. So we're going in on this meal, a whole bunch of different types of tapas and cheese and a little bit of everything, you know? But this shit right here is a fish called marluza. I don't even know the English translation. It's funny, I, I just know Spanish food names in Spain. It's gotta be the best fish ever. It's fried marluza, some type of white fish. If you come to Sevilla, you gotta get that. And now we're going to see a movie. The only thing I know about it is that I forget what it's called, but Denzel Washington's son is in the movie. I love him. What's I it? love Denzel Washington, so his son is like a copy of him. I feel like his son's the best actor of like, he's not new, but of like the newer generation of actors. He's one of my top three, probably. It's called The Creator, and we got a review coming in three, two, one. They're not people, Maya. It's just programming. Who said you want, huh? All right, the creator out of 10. I thought it was an eight out of 10. It was really good. A what a 10? An eight out of 10. An eight out of 10. I'd say it's an 8.5 out of 10, or as Julie would say, an eight and a half out of 10. <laughs> it was really good. It was good. It's not like, it's not like a classic, but it's just below a classic. It's worth watching. The only thing is I didn't really feel bad for the artificial intelligence and they tried to make you. I cried. What, what kind of person are you? Look behind us, I was with the uh, Sevilla Ramon Sanchez Pijuan Stadium. Movie theater? football stadium. Now, here's the thing. If you apply the information in this video, it is 1000% going to help you reach your goal physique as fast as possible. But that is only if you avoid the big pitfalls. There's some mistakes that if you don't know about them and you make them, it could set you back a month or a year of progress. And that is why I recommend you watch this video next. It is about how I would train if I started over from zero gains, the biggest mistakes to avoid 
click there to watch that now. And if you're new to the channel, click down there to subscribe as I release two new videos every single week and you don't want to miss them. I'll talk to you in the next video. Stay beastly.